Hi everyone. Um, I've got a checkbook cover here that I made and I made this about a year ago and I'll put the link below uh, of the video where it shows me putting all this together and um, it's held up really good. In fact I think it held, held up better than a lot of the plastic ones that you get from the bank and I made it from this ribbon right here and uh, this is the inside so what I've decided to do is I've got this little leather pouch here that I've been keeping my cards in some of my credit cards and the zipper has finally quit on me and I can't fix it so I've decided I want to make a little card holder and I'm going to do it using this ribbon right here and uh, we'll see how that turns out so okay yeah let's get started okay so right here I'm going to go ahead and measure this at five and a half inches long and I'm going to cut three pieces and you know this ribbon sometimes has that wire in it uh, this one has a kind of a nylon wire so uh, that's what I'm doing now. I'm pulling out that nylon and uh, get all of that out of all three pieces. And then I'm going to glue it together with this fabric glue. And uh, that stuff works really good. So uh, I press it together after I put the glue on and then I let that dry overnight. And then I take it to my sewing machine and do a little zigzag stitch along the part where I just glued them together to uh, reinforce the seams. And this is uh, adhesive basting spray and I sprayed the ribbon real good and laid it on top of this fabric and I'll trim that out and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and stitch up two sides and allow myself a little bit at the top for the flap. Right here, I'm trying to figure out how much of a gusset I want to put in there. So I pinched the, the bottom fold to the side seam. And I'm just going to sew a little gusset on each side. And so this is where I've already sewed it. I apologize, I can't show you on my machine because I can't get my camera over there set up where my sewing machine is set up to show you how I did that. So uh, yeah, I'm going to turn it right side out now. And uh, I'm just going to show you how, uh, how it looks so far. And I got another little, that gusset allows for some space to, for my cards to sit in. So that'll work out good. And then uh, I just take the scissors to trim off the flap a little to give it some shape. Also, I think that helps it to close easier. And uh, I'm going to use this little braid I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to trim it out on the edge to finish the edge out. I did this to the checkbook cover with the hot glue. And it works fine. I haven't had any problems with it, you know, trying to come apart or anything. So I'll go ahead and uh, finish trimming out the edge of this little uh, pocket.
pieces of uh, that ribbon left over and I went ahead and, and cut it and uh, sewed up three sides there to make a little it's like a business card pocket and I'm just going to finish that up and uh, put a little trim on the top as well and that'll fit inside the little card holder so right here I'm going to use a fabric tack and put a little white decorative trim all around the inside and the outside. And here I'm using the hot glue to put it on the outside and that works just fine. And uh, I don't have the part that shows where I put the Velcro and the little button on, but I add a little Velcro for the closure. And then that uh, works real good and that finishes it off. And I try not to put too much of embellishments on it because it is something that's going to be taken in out of your purse and uh, so I don't want to put a lot of embellishments on it. Okay, I finished my little credit card holder. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this little pocket here that I made. It's for business cards. I uh, used what was left of the ribbon and stitched it up on three sides and added the little trim across the top. I belong to an embroidery club here in our area and we like to exchange information so I make up little business cards to pass out plus um, I collect cards from them so this makes a nice little holder for that okay and this is the uh, credit card holder and I, I found a little button in my stash and I added that to the top this is the back side and I put a little gusset in there as well to give me plenty of room I use velcro for the closure I got this velcro at Walmart and it is sticky back it comes in a long strip I cut it a little bit more because it was wider than what I wanted and even though it's sticky back I ended up stitching around the edge a little just to reinforce it okay so uh, as you can see it's lined on the inside and I have my cards in there already and this little business card pocket fits in there really nice and it also uh, works as a nice little divider so uh, I've got still got plenty of room there I used to do the big wallet with the uh, checkbook cover checkbook compartment and all the slots for the credit cards and so on and I just got away from that I really didn't like pulling out that whole wallet thing <laughs> at checkout time so uh, yeah I just kind of got away from the big wallet and this little checkbook cover has really held up I was pretty amazed and so uh, that's the reason why I decided to make a little credit card holder and uh, I like the way uh, it makes a nice little set and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in my purse and I like that too and uh, so I hope y'all like it and I appreciate you watching thanks